All right, now it is grant time. Ig ignore the Trevor there. He doesn't exist on this path. All right, so I will say this is probably the harder path of the game. Uh, I think the boat and whatnot are all a little easier to tackle than basically everything we're going to see from here on out on this side. That being said... <laughs> That being said, there's a guy on fire. Uh, that being said, yeah, here's some mummies. They're bastards. They just teleport in and start shooting bandages. And somehow that doesn't help you. That does hurt. But yeah, platforming's harder, the gimmicks are harder, and the enemies are just a pain. Thankfully, the little acid drips from the ceiling don't hurt you until they're actual orbs, or Grant would have a hard time due to his incredible jump that he gets from being so fast. Uh, so I actually, surprisingly enough, haven't talked about, uh, the Netflix series all that much. I do really like the series, uh, but I bring it up now because, of course, uh, we're playing as Grant, and elephant in the room, uh, Grant makes no actual appearance in the show itself. He's just, like, mentioned at one point as being, like, a land bandit who attached wheels to a boat. And for some reason, they decided not to keep going with that. He just never appears. Which sucks, because you know what? Grant's probably the least popular character in this game, but he's a weird little guy, and I feel like we should appreciate him for that. I feel like that makes him unique and special. And if I remember correctly, uh, the main reason Grant didn't get on is because uh, Warren Ellis didn't like his name, which... Eh, it's kind of a dumb reason not to include a character, but that's not actually the worst thing that Warren Ellis has done, so... Uh, I guess I can't complain about that too much. Ah, uh, if only I could live in the world where that weren't the case. Anyway, you can just walk on the ceiling. It's no problem. Oh, what a feeling when your grant's on the ceiling. <laughs> Makes the stage a little easier. Gotta do a little less platforming. Yeah, grant's really good, actually. Look, only having a tiny dagger that can attack in front of him, that sucks, but like... He can do- like, I, I probably could have just climbed around that block as well. Don't know why he didn't. But yeah, just being able to platform well is just so good and- Huh, that's weird, that's a coffin. But who could be in this coffin? Bats. Uh, oh my goodness, it's Dracula! I- How could he be here and not in his castle? Well, we better throw axes at him, but yeah, no, I remember that attack pattern uh, from, you know, Sonya Belmont's time. That's definitely a Dracula if I ever saw it. So, uh, I guess Grant is gonna be the one to save Wallachia and eventually the rest of the world. Dracula would get around to the rest of the world eventually. It's just Wallachia's kind of in the firing zone right now, so that's what's important. Alright, we've almost got him on the ropes. Thankfully, it's very simple this time around, and, uh, you know, Dracula's not actually, uh doing too much to trick us out, or teleporting between platforms. So in the end, he wasn't too bad. Alright, you did it, Grant. You saved the world. Oh wait, what's this? That's right, second form, of course! However, this is in fact not Dracula. He's talking to us, and he's actually having a decent conversation, and he wants to destroy Dracula. That's because he's Alucard, not Dracula. Uh, Alucard was just testing us to see uh, if we were worthy of joining him in the fight uh, against his own dad. Let's pretend to shake hands with Alucard. Trevor doesn't exist, so uh, this isn't happening right now. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, I guess this could be happening. Alucard's just like, hey, I got it from here, and Grant's just like, cool. I'm gonna slip out the back and just not do this anymore. I don't want to fight a Dracula, actually. So, um, here's Alucard. He sucks to play as, and he's easily my least favorite character in the game. His only sub-weapon is the stopwatch, so that's gotta drop at some point. Uh, like Trevor, he does have the ability to upgrade his basic attack, which makes it actually useful. Uh, at the moment, I can only fire, uh, two projectiles, but once I get another chandelier, uh, I'll be able to get 
three shots. Sometimes. I think part of the problem is uh, this game has sprite limitation problems, so... Sometimes when you attack with Alucard, he just doesn't, and it's really a pain. <laughs> he sucks to attack with. He's also good for platforming, much like Grant, however, um... I don't think he's as fun to platform with, and I also decided against uh, doing any platforming with his thing this time because it's boring, and I want to show what it is like to play as Alucard normally, which is to say, bad. <laughs> is bad. Oh look, it's another split path. Well, uh, I'm sure uh, those weird ruins at the bottom will be perfectly safe for Grant's trip home, so Alucard is gonna take the top path, because he knows where the catacombs of Castlevania are, and he intends to go there. Now thankfully, despite being so tall, uh, Alucard's hitbox doesn't hit the ceiling, otherwise he would be impaled right there. So, elephant in the room, uh, if you've played this game before, or, you know, if, if you've heard anything about this game, you probably know that this isn't normally what Alucard looks like, and that's because I'm actually using a very simple uh, ROM hack. Uh, it is the Alucard Sprite Patch by Wilver uh, that makes his sprite more consistent with what he looks like throughout the rest of the series. I'm mainly doing this because I've already played Castlevania Legends, and he was hot in that one, so I decided I should stick with that. Um, instead of doing, you know, anything that would actually improve gameplay. Uh, that being said, though, while we fight this boss, uh, which is an improved Skull Knight who shoots bones whenever you hit him, and he fucking sucks to fight normally, he's worse to fight as Alucard, because Alucard doesn't do any damage, <laughs> and he's absolutely garbage at actually hitting Skull Knight in the first place, and destroying the bones. Anyway, though, yes, while this awful display happens, I should, of course, show you what Alucard actually looks like in this game normally, which I'm pretty sure I already did for Castlevania Legends. I'm pretty sure I used uh, the official art for this game already, but hey, future me, show the audience that he looks like this. I'm gonna do this a second time. Two Castlevania LPs in a row, I do have to have you acknowledge what Alucard looks like in this game. I mean, he looks more like a vampire would normally, in most cases, but it's now funny because Alucard is a Bashonin. So, him just looking like some middle-aged dude who bought a Halloween costume is funny, actually. Anyway, though, that sucked, so next time let's get back to a better party.